Um, good morning, and today we're doing the second installment of the series on the burial shrouds from Jebel Adda and Kasi Ibrim. <clears throat> and so, yesterday, as I was looking over the materials, I realized that um, the, the shroud that we did is the shroud that's from uh, Gapoyapa. Um, we'll see that in a second, and then the other one that I already had is the Shroud of Ululudi. But in the literature, um, both in excavation records and also mentioned in Giovanni Ruffini's edition of the Cassiopeia Beam Shroud, um, there is a, a third shroud of Komar, and then there's like a fourth shroud that is very fragmentary. Um, already uh, uh, mentioned in excavation records and also uh, transcribed already by uh, Adam Weitar. And um, so, but I didn't have the photo of the Komar one, so I asked Giovanni for the Komar photo, and we didn't really know whether that was a different shroud or the same shroud, And but it's a different shroud. So that means that now we have four and a half shrouds. Um, and I'm gonna show you uh, a picture of this shroud as well. So let me just, uh, let's see, this is the Kossary Green one. And um, <clears throat> this shroud is also severely damaged, but if I can get a better picture, I think I'll be able to actually get, you know, can get some reasonable transcription out of it. So let's, uh, let's switch to here. So this is the third shroud of Komar. Uh, I don't know exactly where his name is, but that should probably be somewhere here. Uh, here maybe Komar. Yeah. Yeah, Anapausis or Anap. Let's zoom in a little bit. Anapaus. Or Anapau or something like that. Anapauson. And then here supposedly is Komar. I have no idea whether this is actually their name. And you see again here the end, it ends with these vowels and then, you know, Aitimatios. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. And then let's look at the beginning. Um, We see here at least Artenosu Marian, and then we have here this Tangsa. So this whole sequence with the name. So I am going to figure out if I can get a better picture of this. Although looking from this scan, I don't, maybe I can get a higher resolution, but a better picture, certainly not. Let's see here, this is, this is for just blood or something. Um, so maybe I'll also do a video on this one. But first, today, we are going to have a look at the overlap between the Jebel Adda Shroud from Gapoyapa. And so actually I forgot to do that yesterday, but of course the name is in the end. All right, I was reading this, uh, Anna Pauson, and then what follows is Ton, or Tu, in fact, Tu Delta, Tu Dulu, Ton Dulon, whatever case they use, Tu Delta, so your servant. Uh, of the uh, your service to Dulusu, of your servant, and then here we have the name Gapoyapa or Gab Gaboyaba, otherwise an unknown uh, name. So, but what I want to focus on is the beginning because it appears that there is a nice overlap between at least how we start out 
and um, then looking at the Shroud of Ululudi, um, we see here this Ngisu Partanosu Mariana, here, so of the Holy Virgin Mary. And let's see how far we can get. So that's line six. And I'm the reason why I thought there may be a good overlap is because there is Taka Ela Ten Duerkila, which really looks similar to Tak Ela Ten Duerk that we have here. And so we see some gaps and maybe we can fill in some gaps here and there. So let's, uh, let's start. Um, so this starts with Ainoana here, Ainoana, and then Sai, Sai Tu. Um, I don't read Aino, but this certainly could be Aina. I'm not sure if this is, I mean, I don't really read a letter here at all, so I'm just going to bracket this. Oh. But then here, this, we definitely can read two, tau, omicron, epsilon, and sigma also clear. So alpha possible, epsilon really quite vague, but um, this is a good match for the traces that are visible. Um, it's interesting because we don't know the meaning of this word. Um, I think the only thing that I found was maybe in Khalil that this is maybe related to the Nobin word for beautiful or something. Um, which is Sai. Yeah, Sai to be beautiful. So this would this would be my suggestion, probably to call it the beautiful. Um, we don't really have any attestation of um, of this. Um, uh, then. Um, we have this Saitu Nisu Partanosu Marina. Here, Saitu Marina. Then uh, we continue with Tan Tan Tad de Delta Delta La Alpha with a super near stroke and then Gile difficult to read. The question is, can we see this also here? Because we have Jimil Ghul here. So unfortunately, this gap here coincides slightly with this gap here. So Maria, the question is, can we read something like Read a delta here, la gil. This is certainly possible. This lopta tot la gil. Let's go at the next image here. So here we have Jamil Kuhn. And this definitely ends in a lob die here, as sil. So what I'm going to do is in any case correct this based on the other one. Uh, 
yeah, this is La, and this is this definitely could be Gilla. So what I'm going to do is But here we're dealing with a Delta, yeah, this is La. Epsilon completely. You see the two hooks here, le epsilon here in this hole, and then we have maybe one, two, this is tau claw in tau claw. Right, it seems so. I mean, this is super difficult, but Upsilon here, Kappa, Lambda, Omicron, Alpha. Tau Alpha here. A bit squished, but also look at this one. law is clear. Eleven letters. Okay, Jimil Gul, Jimil Gul ten. Jimil Gul ten Galin. Etnyata Gara. Is this tangal and eight nyat? Okay, this is not very clear. Eight ni nyata gra, perhaps, yeah. So we took this one. So is this tagra, is this also readable here? Tak Ela. Yeah, ta gra. Okay. Ta gra. The same text. Um, Gmail Ghoul, then we should have Gamma. Oh my god, this is completely unreadable. Galen, Galen. Uh, 
Egy nyak talál. Egy nyak tagra. Ez az alfa. Here, there's another tau. Definitely a nu here and an alpha here. Alpha is good. Gamma even. See the the horizontal of this. Yeah, this lambda iota here. No, nu is good. Alpha here also good. Which means that then I have eight ni here. Three letters, one, two, three. Okay, that's doable. Just gonna put a question mark. You see in any case that this text likes non geminated spelling. Say two, one tau, here two. And also here, Tagra with two here and one here. Then, Tak Ela Tena, and the text prefers Tena instead of Ten. So, Ton Ten Ten, and here it's Tena Tena. Then we have Duerki Lam. Ejat nakra. Taka ela ten duerki lam. And then taka uskira kono agenda lo. Just gonna fill this out. Ten to work you long. What do we have here? Do work. And then we simply have a lobda, it seems. And maybe this, but this is a crease or something. I think it's do work la. Or do work ka. This is letter. So there, there's a crease here. Why is this a double? Do so we have the kappa here. Lobda, okay. Alpha I know should be there, but difficult to read. Maybe it has like. Then we have Noah Agenda Law, which is what comes here. Taka uskira kono, but here it is if, and here it is Noah. So let's have a look. Clearly, Noah. Mm -hmm. 
this is a different verb. This is delta here. Actually, part of this microphone is visible here. Let's see. I can see a kappa here, maybe tau alpha. So alpha kappa. So alpha kappa. And maybe one, two, three, four letters. And then this might be a new. Delta, lambda, gamma, gamma quite clear. Lambda also quite clear. Lambda and the delta also delta. This should just be a vacat, I think. Because I read gamma, omicron, nu. And then noah here. Maybe they didn't write anything here. Because this is squished. And this is maybe a tear or something. What is interesting is um, maybe if I go, is that this ends in Noah, so in order two, and this is if. So what is the translation actually? Yeah, so this should be read as Noah again the law. So this is with holography. to find her and place her in their abode. We use curly brackets for an editorial um, insertion. And we do this based on this word. And so probably there, there's just a different word for place here. Okay, then Konoa. Agenda law, agenda law. Et tu tandiam. Uh, that fits very quite well. Um, et, and this is tau here can be seen. Definitely tan can be seen at the end. Here tan. Or is this an epsilon? Mm. 
tau can be seen. At least part of it. Here. Ah, oh, but this is a man, so this should be A2. Better. Blessed is the man. This is a Yota, this is the Tau. Oh, no, we can also actually. I mean, then if the Yota is here, this is the hook of the Tau. Omicron must be here. These curves here are of the Omicron Epsilon. Blessed is the man. But then this should be Toad. Son, not daughter. Tandian Tau Klo Taka. And then we have Udon Katin. So this Udon Katin is this Udon Katin. So let's see if we can. If that fits. It should. Ton. Tau claw here. Tau claw and then tuck. Yeah, tuck Ela. Ela is here. Tau quite clear. Alpha and Kappa less clear. Tak Hela. And then Lo here. Kappa clear. Trace of Upsilon. Trace of Upsilon. Kappa. It's okay. Lambda not so clear. Omicron clear. Which means that we should have Tau here. So that fits. Um, which means that before that should be Tan Dion. We have Tan here, so Tau Claw should stand here. So Dion should be here. Oh, yeah. D. Um. I mean, you can see the top of the, the, tri the triangles and the top of the new here. This is the hiatus D. Um, Tak ela pesa deal. Okay, tak ela pesa deal. You see this deal here is really quite close to this deal here. Now, would that fit in here? Udon katin. Tau klo takka. Yip, 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 yip. Takka. And then we should have a la. Okay, that is good because epsilon lambda, epsilon lambda, 
this clearly even has a stroke over it. You can see it here. <clears throat> Where were we? Taka e. Right. Taklo taka e la. In. And then we have Pau Konki Konjugula. Pau Konki Konjugula. And we end here in Kuna. Don't cut. No, this is actually Gula also. Yeah, Gula. Okay, yeah, sorry. Pao Konji Gula. Pao Konji Gula. And let, yes, this is going well. Jima Ni. Jima quite clear, actually. Lobbed out, so this is good. Ni also good. Here we have Kon. And here we have Pau P clear, alpha clear, omicron clear, epsilon. Then this is ripped apart a little bit, so this should be a kappa. This should probably be dotted. And then omicron. Good. New good, new here, kappa, partially visible, key, maybe here, and then this is con, yeah. So the first stroke of kappa, so this is the knee here. First stroke of kappa visible here, Omicron completely gone. And then this should be the stroke of the Yota. Pau con kappa here in this vague part. Pau con ki. Pau con con jugula. Well, Sorry, I always forget this should be this. Oh. forget which ones are which these brackets <laughs> delete by scribe edit by the editor okay yeah so angry brackets edit by editor I'm editing this alpha this two um, square brackets is deleted by the scribe right you see your tuck and then he was reading ta, but he made it into a kappa, so. Okay. And then where are we? Ta. 
I can dark cow. What is what are these verbs in any case? To direct. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. We were here from County Toka Ika. Ah, so this should be a kid. Should be a delta because then, no, for don't. One delta, but then an alpha here. Alpha, kappa, kappa here, kappa here, yota in between. Ki, ka in the gap here. Elemental of incredible. Lo men without lo. Eri, okay. So then we have I, Yota visible. Rho, Yota here. Epsilon here in the hiatus. Yota, Rho, Eira. This looks like more of an alpha. I ramen than without ta, but with lo. I ramen lo. Um, and then another word in between. I ramen lo. Fake. Men, this is all good. I mean, I probably should dot at least in here. But what is this? Onnajin. Hello, men, Onnajin. Interesting. It is interesting because you don't expect a word to start in a row. Is this Okay, interesting, because this also now starts to differ. So let's work backwards. Tong ngapen mishan guesin. No, no, I just think one. Okay, so tong ngapen. Tongape here. Preceded by Pauka. Okay, also good. Ah, 
so this is Ellen Gulo, but then this should be Ellen Gu Kiskilo or something. Up to. That would make sense. Um, where am I? Line eight. Ah, sorry, it begins here. So it's the short line. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, where am I? Erimentalo, this line. Top, 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 Ellen Gukisk. Toklotoka. Okay, so it should be here. Where am I in this line? Kiskil. Yeah, exactly. Kiskilo. Kiskilo. Well, we come here. And here we simply have Alan Gulo. Joklo. The end. Alan Gulo. Joklo. In honor, in glory. Ukakidukan Let's see Ken Duk oh my god here yeah, indeed Dukan Delta Omicron Epsilon Kappa Epsilon Nu Kidukan This is quite clear Kappa Yota Kappa Yota Delta Omicron Epsilon Kappa Kiduken which means that Uka should be here in the hiatus. I'm just putting that in. Tangapa Mishana, all his sins. Tanga pa mishana, tanga pa mishana, mishana gu. Next, indeed, yeah, we see here this mishana. This is definitely not visible, but I see trace of O and Upsilon. Back L Awajin Gulong Here, Gulon Sin This is Agua uh, 
agu a single line. This looks like it's our way. Our alpha here, epsilon, a, gamma, sin, and then go a single on. Maybe this was a question was yeah, this must have been copied erroneously. So this is a copying error. And so what has happened is that he saw the scribe saw this. Yeah, this must have been there then and then erroneously copy this into that's it. so we can know now this is a copy Yeah. Wow. <sighs> right, so the scribe is reading so the scribe is reading the text. He sees Tongap and Machina Guesin, as you see here. And then continues. Reads again na, our sin na. Or reads again sun, or sin or sun. And then automatically again copies his agua sin. But that's erroneous, that's completely ungrammatical. Then we get the gulon, which is the correct, as we see here, our sin gulon. The question is do we have this L? Do we have place for L? So let's see, we have gu, eh, possibly here, sin. Yeah, L, there is definitely a place for that. Very cool. Very, very cool. So we know that they copied this from a standard text. So they were reading, they had a an example next to them and then wrote copied it onto the onto the shroud nice targila talk oh, there's probably nothing here then targila that's it talk and then we have Slet to in slet to gisina. And we have u gisina. 
Good. Do we have the rest? Yeah, there we have it. We read in here. In. Then we read quite well sigma lambda sigma lambda epsilon with a superlator two taus all good and then we have what comes before it demanda this is more difficult i definitely read mu alpha nu alpha not so clear alpha nu alpha which then means that here should be tok taka oh. tok taka and then I'm just putting this in the man now Insletungisina to eklo joa. Yes, here's an inslet to Nisina with crappy handwriting. To So I glow Joa. Nyesame, Nyesame, Nyesame Joa. So I glow Joa. And then, of course, we have the thrice holy. So I glow Joa. Nyesame. Nyesame. And then, yes, man, yes, man. and then again here. Oh, we actually have the Mac quite clear. So, Mac, this is all readable. So, Mac, this is quite good. Yes, Mac. Yes, Mac. Yes, Mac. There are even four, am I correct? Yeah, exactly. Yes, I'm there. Uh, Sigma is good. Sigma not so clear. Sigma. Alpha. So we have Engma here, Sigma stroke, Sigma alpha, meh. Not so clear, but at a good. Yes, I'm man, yes, I'm man, yes, I'm man. And then we have here Joa. So here we're gonna have a diversion. We have gel, or is it maybe the same? Jen. Jung. We have Genya with gel, and then Genya men, Genya Mendin, Mendil, Mendil Guka. We have your Mendil Guka, Genya. Is a man, is a man, is a man. Gel, right? Yeah, gel. Here we have Joa. No, not so clear actually. This could be gel. In fact, this is gel. This is much more an epsilon.
No, epsilon with two dots. Gel Genya met Dilguka, and we have here Men Dilguka. Au Jima, and then Alpha Au again. Here we have two rows, but here we have only one Au Jara. Now it becomes interesting. Who is this Azra Mole? Do we have Azra Mole? No, I think it's really gonna change. Oh no, actually not. Kuchra Entra. We have Kunjira. This must be a row. This one here. Don't know why he doesn't want to put that dot. Um, Kunjira. Now here we have Kujira. Now this is also Kunjira. This is a Nima. Kunjira. In tra bingo. So this is then the end somehow. Conjira and before that. Nadil Guka, Nadil Guka, Kunjira. Hmm, this is really quite a different. Koinka. No, this is different. Azra, yeah. Whatever, Azra Mole. Azra Mole. Mm. You know, part two, two, co, nadogo ka. All right, well, so what we did is we um, took this text and we took this text from line six, so starting here, I know, I know, and here, I know, and put them next to each other. And as you can see, we basically reconstructed everything up to here nearly fully, and the same here. 
So now we can go back at some point and look at the analysis of the text because now we have filled in the gaps. We have understood more about its syntax. For example, the fact that, you know, here this alpha was dropped out and here that um, there is a weird repetition. Very nice. Okay, so now that we have established basically, you know, the basic text of this sequence, we can now go back to the Ruffini text. Where is it? going to show you some images. Um, this one and see because again we have I know and I need to what is this? to partners Ah, and then it goes directly to ten duer kila. So this is a shorter like Pao Kunki blah 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 tak eka deno joa Nisame Nisame Nisame. Here we have this thrice holy. We'll be able to do something with this. So um what I'm going to do is um first copy um, Giovanni's first edition and then um, we're gonna do exactly the same thing as we did today we're gonna check that text against um, what now is starting to appear as the standard text of these um, of these shrouds which is very exciting. Okay. Um, and let's see again how much how much variation there is. Um, right, because if it goes directly from Sai to Nisu. Wait. How does this thing go? Sai to Partenosu. Oh no, we're going to Maria. Ah, this was just crumbled up. Okay, yeah, no. So this really seems to be the beginning, the same beginning. The exciting part is that we here have the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to match this shroud with this one. And that will be for um, tomorrow, I think, because um, this is going very well. All right. That was it. If you have any questions, actually put them in the comments and I'll um, address them and um, see you next time.